The Pixel 4 is finally out and it's time we need to talk about it. So let's dive right into it. Now the Pixel 4 and Pixel 4 XL are Google's latest phones that they recently announced starting at $799 and $899 respectively for their base models. Now the Pixel 4 for starters with the features it will have a new feature called Motion Sense which is like a motion gesture feature which you can control certain features such as waking the phone and uh, changing your music on Spotify which is kind of similar to what we've seen on LG's phones in the past some people say it's gimmicky some say it's not i personally think it's cool as long as it's not too over the top now the next thing that the phone offers is uh voice transcribing so there's a default voice note app on the phone which will be able to transcribe voice notes into words and you can use it to search for that voice note as well using keywords. This is kind of similar to how transcribing works on the Note 10 with the S Pen note taken, except this doesn't have pen support. It just transcribes your words, which is pretty cool. Not a lot of phones do this. So if you're looking to make easy notes, if you're a podcaster, a journalist, this is a nice feature to have. Now, of course, it wouldn't be a Pixel phone if there wasn't anything good about the camera. The camera has improvements with 16 megapixels on the main rear camera and 12.2 megapixels on the secondary lens, while the front camera has 8 megapixels. Now, this may not be big megapixels like 24 or 30 megapixels, but if there's one thing you know, the thing that makes Google's cameras great is their software optimization. So they don't really need that much pixel power as long as you're able to process the photos good and accurately with the right colors, which is one of the best selling features of any pixel phone. Alongside the improvements, another improvement would be in night sight, which you'll be able to take better photos at night without using flash. That's also a nice feature to have. And of course, in the camera app, you can adjust the brightness in sections of your frame or photo, which makes it easier to take in photos in not so ideal situations. Now that we've got most of the main features out of the way, let's look more into the specs of the phone. Now, the Pixel 4 will have a 5.7 inch display, while the XL. 6.3 inch display now although the displays aren't too small or too big the notch is not as bad as the pixel 3 but the top notch still has its presence like there's a small bezel there it's not like a notch like a drop down notch it's like a little bezel there that still is very noticeable it's kind of bigger than typical 2019 phones that we've seen but the bottom bezel is reduced a little bit, but I really wish they would have reduced the bezels a bit more, make the phone look a bit more modern and up to date. But it's still better than having that big old bad top that we had last year. Rest in peace, Pixel 3 notch. Now for battery, this is where I feel like this phone was kind of a let down, especially on the Pixel 4's part. It has a 2800 milliamp hour battery. What? Now, why am I saying this is such a letdown? Because some of you are probably saying, oh, they could optimize it with software and make battery life last longer. Well, you see, the thing is, the Pixel 4 has a 90 hertz display. Now, if there's one to be known about 90 hertz displays or 120 hertz displays, despite them being smooth, they require a significant amount of battery life. Now, 2800 milliamp hours with 90 hertz on, that's a bad combination. It's like you're practically making a death wish for your phone. 
The XL has a 3700 milliamp hour battery, which is probably more forgivable, but considering that the 4 stacks at 2800 and the XL only has 3700, I feel like there could have been more potential for a bigger battery inside. Cause I mean, I'm pretty sure that there is room for it cause there aren't a whole lot of physical complicated things about this phone like wireless charging and uh, modular accessories like the model of the phones and X notes or did I just say X notes I need someone <laughs> anyways the fact is the battery could have been better it also has USB Type-C, just in case you're wondering, USB Type-C is still there, so hold your breath and cross your fingers for this next one. The phone has 6 gigs of RAM, which is a good amount of RAM for a phone, more than a uh, phone in this day and age needs, because a typical phone needs at least 4 gigs of RAM, but it starts at 64 gigabytes. No, 64 gigabytes and like I said with all these other features included such as support for 4K video, 4K video support and 64 gigs as big as 64 gigs may seem even to this day it's not very sufficient for the amount of data that a 4K video would carry and if your person has actually take a lot of high quality mobile videos you're better off getting the 128 gig version which to be honest i think it should have started at 128 gigs instead you can only get 64 and 128 gigs on both phones that's it now for the design it has a nice rounded edge design on all four corners of the phone with a aluminum matte finish so it won't be that much of a fingerprint magnet as well and it will have a nice feel to it in the hand but except for the black version of the phone it has a glossy finish i don't know why they would choose to do it on black of all colors but they went and did it anyway now the colors, it comes in three colors and the names are just Google-ish. The colors are just black, clearly white, and also orange. Those are literally the names of the colors. The names are cheesy, but the colors do actually look pretty neat. That's one thing that I personally like about the Pixel phones. A bunch of other features such as Air and VR support, um, here and here, compatibility and also two years of guaranteed security and and a bunch of other tiny little stuff that aren't really that much worth mentioning but I'll just list them up on the screen but overall the Pixel 4 is a good phone it's just that it kind of feels like a little dumb a very sufficient battery and some other features that could have been there as well, such as wireless charging, which I feel Google needs to put in, and also I feel that the phone could have had a smaller notch and also bigger and better storage. Those are just some of the next downs of this. This will probably be due to the fact that we've been exposed to this phone in weeks and kind of like the expectations are set very high. There are rumors that we can actually make this phone to generate high, but if that's true, Google. Next time, if you're going to leak a phone, please make sure it lives up to the hype. Again, I'm not saying As my opinion you can express yours in the comments and that is it for my thoughts on the pixel 4 and i will be seeing you guys in the next one peace
Also, you can have live Pokemon wallpapers to tickle on the phone.